Hello golfers, Brian Pate here. I want to give you a good visual of how the putter works. So what I did was I put a black piece of tape in the middle of my sweet spot of the putter head. That's where if I'm tapping the club face, it's not twisting. So that would be your true center of the club face, not necessarily where the line is or the dots on the putter face. But our picture is how is this black piece of tape moving around our body? What I'm doing is I'm standing in the middle of a swing circle and I have this thing propped up about 70 degrees. That would be our lie angle of the putter shaft. Now some people have a little bit flatter, a little bit taller based on your size and setup in here. But if I get set up, hinge over in the middle, what I could do is move our blue ball into the middle of our circle. So you could say there's the center and there's the circle working around us. So if I jumped in here, the center might be around my buttons. If I was someone that was using my wrist motion more, the center is going to move down towards the handle and this whole circle is going to get smaller. If I was someone that was using my torso, the center might feel like it's more a little bit above me, behind my back, and the circle might be eight feet in diameter as opposed to the six foot circle. So hopping in here, what we could see if I'm moving my putter along the circle, that the little black piece of tape works up and in down to the bottom of the circle and then back up and in on the other direction. In previous videos, we talked about our club face and the straight back, straight through concept, trying to keep it straight. But what we could see here is the straight aspect is more what the shaft plane is working on. The shaft can work a little bit more straight back, straight through, because from down the line view, this thing looks straight. But from down the face on view, we can see it works up and down on both sides. And then from the back view, if I made it bigger, you can see that the black piece of tape is going away from our target line. So you gotta remember this putter is working in a circle around us. And then if I had the loft, the loft could be straight with this big circle. But what we wanna do here is give you some things you could do practice wise. What I did was I put two alignment rods into a pool noodle and bent the bottom so it makes a little bottom of the circle. Now David Orr's mentioned before, good mentor, that this looks like a pizza wedge here. What we have is the two sides of the wedge and the bottom is the crust. As I'm set up in here and we're moving our pizza wedge, you can see the bottom of the curve is moving with a big circle around me. I'm not trying to make something go straight back and straight through if I attached a putter to it so you can have the visual here would be trying to keep the face straight and move everything straight you can see what happened to the back side of my circle it actually got bigger and then I'm going to have to try to make the front side bigger to compensate for it if I stood in the middle and let this putter head swing now you can see the pool noodle is moving more relative to this big circle around me. So a good little visual. Some students like this concept as well. If we're hopped in here, how are we moving the bottom of our crust? If we take that away and then introduce our putter, here we'll just go ahead and roll this blue ball. How are we moving the putter in space? So use this big visual, use this concept to help you become a better putter, to help clean up your concepts and give you the freedom to do things and experiment along these lines.